Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. And what we're reviewing today is the Rumi Oracle by Alana Fairchild, an invitation to the heart of the divine. Now, Alana Fairchild, I feel like she's hit or miss with me. Um, regardless, she is long-winded and so you're always going to get a very in-depth guidebook that's going to give you so much information. With that being said, I do love the images of this deck and I feel like this is a deck that can get very deep, very quick. This is a deck that I would never be able to memorize the meanings based on the guidebook. Like with, with daily use, I would pretty much form my own intuitive messages based on the pictures, but this guidebook is, is deep and intense and we'll get into it right now. <laughs> this is a two-part box. And again, thick ass guidebook. <laughs> But the standard intro, um, she gives you the contents on of every single card, which works for me. Just to put it in perspective, between Layla and the Lover and the Beloved, <coughs> excuse me, that's five pages for one card. <laughs> so we have our introduction, talking about who um, Romy is, and the work behind the deck how to use the deck different spread and now we go straight into the card messages so we have the card we have a keynote by it um pretty much based on Rumi's uh work so you're gonna get something from Rumi and then um she gives like this forward almost as if the card is speaking to you and then it goes into the breakdown and then she gives you a small ritual that you can do to activate the card and use the card but again very extensive breakdown right lots of information on the breakdown of these cards the font is a little small i'm wearing glasses so i can read it but if i didn't have on glasses i would wait until i found my glasses <laughs> um <laughs> So be prepared, the font is a little small. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much like that for every card. Now, some of the words from Rumi, you're gonna get like a whole poem, sonnet, you know, and then the breakdown, right? So very extensive, very intense uh, guidebook. But, Let's actually get into the cards. The cards are beautiful. Um, I don't really use this deck often, just like I said, because of how extensive the meanings are, how deep they go. Um, I feel like for those of you who don't have as many decks as I do, you would probably get more use out of this deck because it would be a more specialized purchase. Um, this was one of my first few Oracle decks and while I can use these cards, I just def I just feel like this is a little much for me. Um, the meanings are beautiful, the pictures are beautiful, but I just feel like like I can I, I won't really get much use out of this deck. The cards are glossy, standard card stock, and they are about average for an oracle card they shuffle really well they because of the gloss they have a tendency to stick so side shuffling may be an issue but the images are, are gorgeous not all that diverse because they're very abstract but when you do see a human on the card it's not very diverse I am glad to see that there are more decks with better diversity and representation out there. This just happens to not be one of them. But let me know how you feel in the comments about this particular deck. Is this a deck that 
you feel like you could add to your collection? Maybe not. Um, how do you feel about the guidebook? All of that fun stuff. Um, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe and check out all of the other deck reviews, collective readings and things I have here. Um, hit that like, hit that share. You know, hype your girl up a little bit. And if you are looking for a personal reading, I do offer video readings via YouTube. You can DM me across all social media at Coco Kitten Bruja and we can set up your own personal itch snatching. And yeah, Dance of the Divine Feminine. I do like this particular card. Beyond Death, Life. Like I said, there's some beautiful imagery in these cards. It's just, I don't really get much use out of the deck. I feel like I have other decks that I can pull from that aren't as intense. Um, This is for all skill levels. I feel like if... If you are a beginner, you could absolutely use this deck if this deck calls to you, but it is very intense. So yes, it's for all skill levels as most oracles are, but I feel like because you would probably get more things intuitively from this deck, it may be best to have this for intermediate to advanced um, intuitive readers. All right, guys, that is all I have for this particular deck review. Again, let me know how you feel in the comments. As always, I'm wishing you guys a ton of love and light. And until next time, peace.